welcome to my channel. In today's video, I have some spooky snacks for you guys. I make three different treats that you can make any time during this fall season, but especially now during October. Um, I hope you enjoy these, so let's get started. So the very first spooky snack that I wanted to make is super easy. This is um, two ingredients, so you'll need some candy corn and some peanuts, and then a jar to put them in. I found this cute little jar at the dollar store where it says pick your poison, and it actually has a seal on it. Um, but basically you're just gonna mix a 50-50 ratio of candy corn and peanuts. And let me tell you, when you eat a handful of this, it tastes identical to a payday candy bar. For the second spooky snack, I'm going to be making witch's fingers. And the witch's fingers will only be three ingredients. The first ingredient are pretzel rods. The second ingredient are candy melts, and you want the vibrant green color. And the third ingredient are sliced almonds. So I have already melted my vibrant green candy melts and i'm going to take a pretzel rod now this part is up to you you can um coat it you know about this much and then have like a, a dry part that you can hold on to or you could snap it in half i'm gonna snap them in half because witch's fingers i'm assuming would be the length of a normal finger so um i snapped it in half and you're just going to coat it in candy melt. To melt my candy melts, I just followed the package directions. And once it is all coated, I'm just going to set it down on some parchment paper. Oh, <laughs> and work on the other fingers. So when your witch's fingers are partially dried, you're going to pick out a slivered almond that kind of has a fingernail shape. So this one has like a pointed um, tip. So I'm just going to take my finger and place a fingernail. So that way when it hardens, the fingernail will harden to the candy melt. So again, just pick out a fingernail looking almond and place it on the tip of the witch's finger. Now you could, um, if you had like black um, icing, you could always paint the fingernails black um, or you can just keep them like a natural almond color. Um, and again, when things are starting to harden, you just do some knuckle lines into the candy mold. Once the finger is set, it'll look something like this. And enjoy.
snack number three, I'm going to be making pumpkin fluff. And this is actually something that my mom used to make all the time, every year, um, for as long as I can remember. And it is four ingredients, an optional fifth ingredient, but you're going to need a tub of Cool Whip, some vanilla pudding mix, pumpkin pie spice, and a can of pumpkin puree. Not the pumpkin pie mix that's pre-seasoned, but just the plain pumpkin without um, spice. The fifth optional ingredient is milk, depending on how you want the texture of your pumpkin fluff. So what you're gonna do is pour the entire tub of pumpkin fluff and the entire can of pumpkin into a bowl. You want to make sure that your Cool Whip is defrosted and not still frozen. Once you have put in your Cool Whip and pumpkin, you're going to add some vanilla pudding mix. You're also going to put some pumpkin pie spice. As much or as little as you want. I poured in about that much. And you're just going to mix. Just make sure you taste as you go. You can always add more of the pudding mix, more of the pumpkin pie spice. You could add some cinnamon. Um, it's really up to you. You could even add chocolate chips if you wanted. But this is a super delicious dip that I um, personally dip graham crackers in. You could also dip fruit. Um, if you had a um, like a serving dish, you could put um, different fruits, graham crackers, or even like um, chocolate graham crackers would be really good with this. Um, but that's pumpkin fluff. So those are the three spooky snacks. Um, let me know which one is your favorite, which ones you're gonna make down in the comments below. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, bye.